Konnichiwa Pokemon fans, how you guys doing? It's the Pokemaven. We are at Shibuya Parko on the 6th floor that has the official Nintendo shop. A jump shop to boot with Rufy from One Piece. And behind us you saw the Capcom World Shop. But we're here to visit the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center Shibuya. Let's see what's new in this video. The great thing about the Pokemon Center Shibuya is that it's not too big, not too small. It's kind of like the Goldilocks size. And it's very close from the station. It's very close from Shibuya station. Oh, look, here we have uh, two of my favorite characters from the Paladian era. Tanda Mouse. Very cute, fluffy, plushy. And like I was saying, the Pokemon Center Shibuya is conveniently located in Shibuya, which is very close to the station. But they do have a limited selection of things. For example, like the Pokemon Fit Plush. They only have five shells of it. Uh, so if there's one particular plush that you're looking for, you're probably better off going to the bigger shops like Pokemon Center uh, Mega in Ikebukuro or Pokemon Center DX. They have much more, they have a much bigger selection of Pokemon Fit Plush. So that's something to take into consideration if you're planning on visiting. It's kind of hit and miss when you visit the Pokemon Center in Shibuya. But it does have like a Pokemon design lab for t-shirts which makes it very unique and we'll look at that later. And it looks like this month's feature Pokemon are Tandem Mouse and Mousehold. Two of the very cute Pokemon. And I think it's a new strategy of the Pokemon Center or the Pokemon Company where they come out with a slew of goods. From like household goods, like you saw the coaster right now, to stickers, utensils. They even have his and her toothbrush stand in this series. And of course, home slippers to keep you warm. Or like these towels here to uh, make sure you have a clean face every morning. So I really like how they've expanded the product line to include a slew of products from everything. From household goods and things like that. And here we have some more plushies. The starter Pokemon. Not, not for each around. That's not a starter Pokemon. But I like... I also like the fact that they have random Pokemon that they feature, like this is Flittle. I wonder what the what the decision process is when they decide on what, what they're going to feature. So you kind of have to be lucky when you're visiting the Pokemon Center. Because it might be a good day or a good week where they have your favorite Pokemon. Like they have uh, the Tandem Mouse and Mousehold at the moment. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a nice surprise when you visit the Pokemon Center. It looks like they've also brought back some starter Pokemon, like Torchic and the Paldian starters. They've had these for a little while already. By the way, which, uh, which generation is your favorite, guys? I'm a big Gen 1 fan, but oof, there's a cute Rowlet, Fue Coco, and there they have uh, Princess Leia, Fido. Very cute looking one. They do have a lot of plushies, I'm surprised. Like half the store's plushies. And this is a new addition. This came after the Christmas goods were released. Uh, Paldian st starter stockings. Holding stockings. <laughs> Does that make sense? Pokemon, Pokemon plushies, stockings, holding stockings. And uh, this is the second release of the my pikachu oh here we have i'm so full chew i just stuffed myself chew floppy ears chew happy to see you chew lots of pikachus this is the my pikachu series it's the second release they've made so many of these but they're so cute they're probably hundreds of the hundreds of kinds there's so many different varieties that it probably take you an hour or two to find a perfect one but I do like the, the little different ones, like her floppy ears, or the little chubby ones, like the one I'm holding right now. Right next to the skinny one, you can see. And there's so many to choose from, so that was really nicely thought out by the company. Here's something new, this Journey to Paldian. I think it was released yesterday. A growth chart for you to measure how much you grow with your Pokemon. They have kind of one that's geared for boys, and one that's kind of geared for girls. With nice pastel colors and I think uh, the stationary section like in each video that I shoot I feel like the stationary section is getting bigger and bigger 
again, it's probably another uh, another strategy by the Pokemon Center or the Pokemon Company to branch out from TCG into other things, household products and stationery. Just a nice pencil board. And of course, a file folder. You can't be a student without a file folder. They even have the lunch boxes and cups, a little side dish, boxes. They've got everything. They've got all the bases covered. Incredible. Hey, here's a nice item. It's kind of a, a portable pouch that you put around your belt. It's kind of that's a unique uh, unique item. And here's the kawaii stuff, the kawaii stationery. Really beautiful pastel, kind of a mint green and pink with Fido, Palmi, Spigatito. So they got all the bases covered. Incredible. What characters did you have on your stationery? Do you remember? Kiss, they're so lucky today. And of course, here's another item that caught my eye. The giant Pikachu plushie. Since we're entering the holiday season, they've come out with the bow tie Pikachu. It's giant, as you can tell, it's like three times the size of my palm or my hand. I think it was 13,000 yen, which I felt was a little expensive. If I had 13,000, I'd probably buy this Christmas bouquet. What a wonderful idea, having all the Pauli and Pokemon together. That was 9,000 yen. And here were uh, another few giant plushies that caught my eye. I think this is a life-size Pichu. What a cute Pokemon. The head was very heavy. You can see it bobbing. Very kawaii plush. It was next to this um, brown dragon. <laughs> One of my favorite Pokemon as well. Charizard. Oh, Emerald Wings, check. This is also 13,000, I think. I think I'm gonna hold out for a, a larger Charizard plush. If they ever make one. In this corner, they had uh, various Pokemon, like a Finizen, Paldean Pokemon. They had Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, oh, there it is. My buddy in Pokemon Go. Any other fellow Pokemon Go players out there? What's your walking buddy? Another expansion that the, the, the company is focusing on is are these stickers. These are all the Paldian characters. Oh, there's Goldengo. These are the cheaper ones. I think they're 300 yen. Mm, they're much nicer stickers, which we'll see later on. And these metal charms. I don't know what, what... How are you supposed to use these things? I have no idea. But they're really popular. I always see people uh, choosing them while I'm shooting these videos. And they've got all the Pokemon. And here's a Kufin and Copperajo one. Some new keychains that came out last week. Oh, here we have Baba Nuki or Old Maids. The red ones are the more popular ones, though. Those are the ones you want. Really wide selection of knickknacks in this section. Very kawaii items. And this section is what makes Pokemon Center Shibuya really unique. It's the only one I've seen. They don't have it at DX, they don't have it at Mega. It's the Pokemon Design Lab, where you customize your own t-shirt. It's uh, easier said than done, because they're like, they're hundreds. They're probably close to a thousand different variations you can make. Literally a thousand. Uh, you can choose from hundreds of Pokemon. You can adjust the color, as you can see this gentleman's doing can adjust the intensity of the Pokemon. And I think you have like 16 minutes or 15 minutes to decide on one design. 
and you can really customize it if, as you can see you can adjust the position you can choose the design that you want the four the four different designs you can choose from to start with you can kind of pinch the size of the star twirl it around put exactly where you want which is a really good idea by the Pokemon company I think you, know, you make a t-shirt on a trip abroad makes it more memorable and don't forget guys for Christmas next week I'll be uh, choosing one lucky winner for a Pokemon Center shopping spree 5,500 yen shopping spree with 5,500 you could get one t-shirt and a sticker you can get three Pikachu my plushies you can get 30 packs of Pokemon TCG the possibilities are basically endless it's just a way of me giving thanks back to you guys for uh, watching my videos this year it's been great blast it's been great fun but there's more to go let's continue with the tour here's another uh, item that caught my eye is a desk calendar for 2024 with Pikachu and the Paladin Pokemon very nice item and here's one of the best items in this video I think it's a bell with Pikachu and Horsey to ring in the year the dragon here we go but last but not least my favorite section the TCG section so many sleeves every time it's hard to say no to them I literally have hundreds of these hundreds of sets they always come up with new ones you've got Tinker Tink, Tinker Tough, Tinker Ton Dondozo with Tatsugiri deck cases lots of deck sleeves lots of deck cases every month they probably come out every two weeks or so I can never get enough which one's your favorite guys which one uh, which one caught your eye in addition to that of course they have play mats limited edition play mats limited edition meaning they come out with them every month or every two weeks here's a full size one in burgundy very official so they have files deck cases deck sleeves all the accessories in one section oh i still can't believe they have this full size new playmat i'm so tempted to get one very nice one is uh from po pokemon 151. the sleeves range from 700 yen i believe to 990 yen to be honest i never pay attention i just i just grab the ones i like there's so many to choose from there's so many cool designs so many nice designs and they come out with them all the time so it's hard to say no really and here are some cool trainer ones they came out with recently and as for the tcg packs nowadays they're at the cashier at the checkout counter so uh don't buy these traps these are just pre-made decks unsuspecting grandmothers and grandfathers for that matter they usually just grab these without paying attention to the sign that says TCG at the counter so remember tell your uh, tell your relatives or tell your friends to go to the cashier for the booster packs and these are the stickers I really like the b-side stickers they're really high quality and the art looks really cool I think it features almost if not all the gen 1 Pokemon occasionally I see other generations but they're mainly gen 1 Pokemon we got the evolutions down there Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon Big Face Eevee which evolution's your favorite? 
Oh, some more designs, some more t-shirt designs. And this section always gets me. It's the uh, the Pokemon Tyke section. Gotta catch them early. Here's some more designs, t-shirt designs. Another unique feature or point of the Pokemon Shibuya are these high-end phone cases. Really beautiful. They're like 30, this one's 33,000 yen. But they're kind of old, you can tell. The, the phone cases are probably for iPhone 8 or so, so they're not very popular. But if I have 35,000 yen to burn, I'd probably buy one of those. This section features more household goods. Like I said earlier, the Pokemon company is expanding into several areas and household items, household goods seem to be uh, one that they're expanding into. Really clever idea. Do you have any uh, Pokemon household goods yourself? And here's another uh, wild section. Phone cases. More down to earth prices on these, as you can see. They change designs from time to time. And these stickers are also new, I've never seen them before. Mobile stickers. So this section basically covers all the smartphone cases type of things, smartphone accessories, AirPod cases. And these are smartphone rings. Are these only used in Japan? Do they have them in your country? No, nope, right across we have the Nintendo Center. It's always crowded. Either ni the Nintendo Center is crowded or the Pokemon Center is crowded. Sometimes they're both crowded. And this is a uh, collaboration. This little section is a collaboration between the Pokemon company and Beams, which is a Japanese brand. And I still can't believe they have these ponchos. They're very cute. Pikachu Palmy. Some travel goods. And this, I believe, uh, this first time I've seen it, is the Nano Block. Mewtwo Nano Block. What do you guys think of these Nano Blocks? They don't seem very popular. I never see people buy them much. But they are kind of cool. I'm tempted to build one. It's a nice idea to have a, a model of Mewtwo. I would say the ideal time to visit the Pokemon Center Shibuya is after 8 p.m. If you're not planning to uh, make a t-shirt or anything. It's much less crowded then. If you go during the day, it's really, really crowded. It's a bit stressful, really. And of course, no Pokemon Center video is complete without shooting the re figure section. These are highly popular. And if you pay close attention, Pikachu is almost always featured in a set. The very few sets where it's it's not featured. This might be one of them, I think. And if you want to be guaranteed that you have the entire set, you have to buy the carton. Or you're going to take a chance, you buy a loose box, a loose pack, or loose box. The highly detailed, really, really nice figures. Wow. 
And of course the confectionery section is always hot. The cookies fly off the shelf, so to speak. This is a new item, never seen it before. It's a lunch box tin with and hope here we have some uh, Pokemon Go present candies. The tins themselves are highly collectible, so it makes for a nice souvenir to take home. The cookies I have had before are the Yokumoku cigar cookies, which is uh, the Eevee and the Mew one. There's a Pikachu one too, but it says Yokumoku on the back. Yokumoku is a famous confectionery company in Japan. They make really nice cookies. And of course, at the exit, they always have Gacha Gacha Pong machine to squeeze some more money out of you. Visiting the Pokemon Center is always great fun. I never take it for granted. And as I said earlier, as a way of giving thanks back to you guys, I like to give away a 5,500 yen shopping spree giveaway. All you have to do is one, please subscribe, two, like the video, and three, comment on what was your favorite item in this video. And if you guys don't want to miss out on future videos straight out of Japan, or if you don't want to miss out on future giveaways, I'll be giving many more things away in 2024. Be sure to subscribe, like I said earlier. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pika Pika Peace from Tokyo.